DSG just embarrassed a Challengers team with their new Chamber Comet. But how? This agent has had a 0% pick rate in Challenger so far, but Disguised have brought this agent back from the dead, and he looks good. DSG showed off their brand new chamber setups and proved that he's still one of the strongest agents in the game. In this video, you're going to witness firsthand that Chamber is still an S tier agent, and if you play around him correctly, he can carry any given game. DSG start their pistol round in a 2-3 setup. Chamber and Viper are in B Heaven, and they have their trademark playing for info on B Main in case anybody walks through. Chamber has his rendezvous set up in stairs, allowing him to contest mid by playing male and then get out safely. And on A, they have a three-person stack. Harbor's gonna wall off A main, Sky's gonna pop her guiding light in this cubby that Harbor created, and if anybody is there, Raze is gonna flush them out with her paint shells. This is where Sky synergizes so well with Harbor and Viper. Their walls segment parts of the map off, and you can use Sky's birds to get specific information telling you exactly where the enemy are. OR Esports have all five players grouped up outside of A main, and they're ready to hit site fast with their double duelist comp. But what they don't know is that they're about to run into a stack. And they're about to be met by a couple Ziff oh, up on his front foot, and there it is. Ziff to find the first. And speaking of Zeldris, we say uh, goodbye early in this one, Dust. Indeed we do, and they're not, you know, wasting any time, still trying to pursue this fight. Paint shells come in, but largely satchel asked Jonah Six, thanks to those still able to pick him up. And good utility already, right? Coming out from the harbor. We already oh see the wall go up. The cascade blocks off everything. And DSG's plan worked to perfection. As the hit was coming in, they used Raze's paint shells and Sky's trailblazer to split them up. And Harbor's cascade sectioned off the entry from the rest of her team. From the get-go, this comp is looking like it has some serious firepower. In the last two rounds, DSG have shown heavy A man aggression and want to change things up. This time, they have Viper solo on A, ready to play the retake. The toxic screen she's throwing allows her to contest A main, but still be able to fall back and use it again as a retake wall. The rest of the team are gathered up outside of B main, ready to set Chamber up and hold this one third of the map. And they also have his trademark holding their heaven this time. OR esports are set up in a passive default. They have two holding B main for any aggressive shenanigans, and three in market ready to go up mid later. DSG start the round by sending Harbor's Cascade down B main and blocking off the entrance. Sky's Guiding Light flies in front of it and tells Chamber that there are people outside of B main. But this Cascade gives him just enough time to set up on this crazy off angle, and because of the way his rendezvous is set up, he gets one and gets out back to sight. Applying that double controllers, having that ability. But you can see what they're using that Cascade for, they're using it to get aggressive defensively and put themselves in forward positions, and Clear goes in a really awkward corner. That could... This setup makes Chamber look like he was never nerfed in the first place. OR Esports are in the mud now. They have the main control, but they just lost their main smokes. Their execute this round is going to be rough, and they're going to have to split a site or else run into some serious crossfires. To do this, they immediately pivot back to mid. But DSG are already there as they rotated off B once they set Chamber up. They use Harbor's High Tide to wall off mid and throw a Sky Flash through it to try and figure out what OR Esports' next move is. Showing us that maybe Chamber's not completely dead, especially here on Split. Meanwhile, mid control still the name of the game, but they're just spamming through it. Steel right. The bird goes caca! causing Steel to spray through it and find another important kill. The segmentation of this wall and Sky's ability to gather info have worked together beautifully. The attackers have no other choice but to individually try and make a play, but DSG close out a pivotal round three and OR are in serious trouble. To start this round, DSG are in a similar setup as before. They start Harbor B main and Sky is in heaven ready to throw a bird past his wall once again. Chamber's in mid this time, and Viper still has a retake wall over on A. The last time OR Esports saw this spread, Chamber pushed up and punished them hard in a strong off angle and took out their controller. This round, they're set up in a similar 2-3 default we've seen previously, but they're not letting DSG set up this time. They want B main. They send in a Sky Flash of their own to counteract the wall, and Raze's Roomba follows it up, but there's no one there. For the first time this game, OR have successfully taken map control without suffering major casualties. Something, something about celebrating the small goals in life, right? Good for them. After creating crazy amounts of B main pressure and breaking Chamber's trademark, the attackers quickly rotate over to mid to take mid control. Sky pops her trailblazer, Chamber hears it coming, and runs away. He's allergic to dogs, <coughs> so Ray steps in and takes it out for him. Okay, he doesn't have allergies, but they didn't want them to see that Chamber was playing in this off angle, and Ray's is clearly baiting for him. Once the wolf gets taken out, DSG uses their own trailblazer and it spots three people. Raze launches her paint shells, and Chamber follows it up, sliding back into the soft angle in mail. He swings, and punishes OR Esports with a really nice shot. After this, all hell breaks loose. It's just really a, a nice thought out thing by Disguise to just earn more of OR utility more often, early round. 
Oh man, and Zell just to do it again, the first one to fall, clear, takes the shot, lands it, teleports to safety, unfortunately the showstopper puts Jonah in a bad spot, the steal will find another. Race popped her showstopper to try and get the trade, but Harbor's wall created a small pocket for clear to survive it. Harbor's high tide is great at creating these spaces that are a headache to clear for enemies. And we also have a lurk battle going on over towards A. Steel might be a boomer, but it's only 5pm, bedtime isn't until 7. Stupid dog! You made me look bad! Nice. He gets the kill. After it's all said and done, or esports are put into 4 versus 2, and they clean up nicely. They need to adjust quick if they want to avoid dropping this pivotal map 1, because so far, it looks like this off-meta comp has some massive synergy. This round, DSG plan around their Viper's Pit. They have Harbor and Raze on A, and they're going to show the same wall they showed on Pistol Round. Sky is going to help Viper stay safe and set her up in mid, and Chamber is playing in a passive off-angle on B site with his rendezvous on Pillar and his trademark at the entrance to help slow the attackers in case they run him down. Every round so far, Chamber has played in an aggressive position and has been the star of the show. But this round, they're playing around their Viper. The attackers start in a 3-1-1 setup. Viper is starting A to spot any aggression, Sky is in mid, ready to send her wolf up, and the other three are ready to fight for B main. They have Asterisk Cosmic Divide online, which is excellent for taking B-Site, and that's their plan. The round starts, and Viper notices this aggressive harbor wall on A, and suspects that they could be setting the chamber up like they've been doing all game. But he isn't there. With this false information, OR gear up to go B, but unknowingly are about to run right into DSG's golden boy, Chamber. Expecting the operator here, Poison Cloud out. Clear well, gonna walk forward, maybe show a bit too much, no spots, heaps of enemies, and he'll teleport safety, not before taking one with him. And he barely gets away with his life. OR take the site in response, and get ready to deal with a strong retake. DSG's game plan is to use smokes to break up the strong crossfires held on site. This cascade is great at isolating back site. Harbor's Reckoning provides valuable information and makes fights easier, and his wall cuts off anyone in A main. But this is all too early. None of Harbor's teammates are ready to flood out. All of this utility and potential for a sick retake are now down the drain. But despite being too early, DSG have plenty of fuel in the tank for their retake. The Cosmic Divide is going to make it a little bit harder, but it did scramble the site for just a second, but OR Esports, they're still on it. Two players inside main, two players backside play the high low. Zeldris to find the first. Unfortunately, Jonah to get spammed through the wall and taken down. Now it's all up to the players inside main, and a rocket is sent their way as Nilly survives for a moment longer. But a moment is all it was as the cove goes down. OR stood no chance, and this comp just looks too damn good. This round, OR Esports have finally cracked the code. You are wrecking the car! Shut up! Their comp is built around speed and fast hits. Just push through all the walls and get ready to brawl. They have four members grouped up outside of B main, and they're ready to go. DSG, on the other hand, have 2B, 1 mid, and 2A. Harbor and Raze are going to fight for B main with his Cascade, Viper is going to stall out in mid, and Sky is going to help Chamber get set up on A. But none of this matters. OR explodes out of B main, and for the first time this game, are finally in control of the round. At least, we thought they were in control. The thing about Harbor is that not only does his wall slow you down, but he can create so many nooks and crannies for himself to hide it. He's like a little rat scurrying around his walls, and he gets two to save this round for DSG. But it's not over yet. DSG still need to clutch up a two versus two to win the round. And while all that was happening, Viper caught a lurk up mid, but Chamber's aware. This duel right here determines the round. By himself, he needs help from Nilly. He still work his way. Chamber comes out on top, but the job isn't done yet. DSG still have to deal with Jet and her Blade Storm, and with her movement, this could be a real hassle to clear out. Lives just about expended. Eight rounds left, and the Vandal finds the first, the second, just around the corner. But a reload with two blades, full magazine. And a 1v1, no, Exalt is running him down inside main, and it looks like he's ready for it. No, he's not. Sleeps on the angle, Exalt will take the round. Zeldris was ready for Exalt to walk up, but Exalt comes up on top and puts DSG up 9-3 to at the half. Oh no. On this channel, we've seen a lot of 9-3 curse comebacks happen. And after DSG dropped the pistol, they need this round if they want to stop that from happening. So they start in a 3-1-1 setup. Rice and Harbor plan on setting up Chamber in B main with this TP. And then they plan on meeting back up later with Sky and Sewer to default up mid. And Steel is on A, holding any aggression and plans on a potential lurk with his smokes. But OR Esports are all in. They saved up enough credits for an op this round. They want to take this round and start snowballing back into this game. They're set up with three people getting ready to contact up mid, Viper is on ramps holding steel smoke, and Jet is opping from screens. And if DSG aren't careful, this Jet 
could ruin them. The round starts with Harbor's Cascade flushing out B-Main, and Clear immediately starts poking and priding Sight up for a kill. OR Esports starts their push up mid. They make contact with the sky, and both teams trade out utility. The defense retreats, not wanting to lose any members to this potential crossfire, and put up their viper wall. With this information, Steel feels like A should be pretty weak, right? The defense was just fighting mid, that means whoever is on A must be playing pretty passive. But he never expected them to buy an op this round. And with Steel dying, they lose all map control on A, and they're in a rough spot. In response, they speed up their mid take, and use Harbor's high tide to isolate mail. Once mid control is established, and the defense is split, they start working up B Heaven and start their execute. Yep. Waiting to counter. Sneaks away, unscathed. Cascade out though, gonna make it hard to fight back for that space. Cove also gonna allow for a bit more safe passage. The close range angles, I don't think these bode well here for Disguise. No, they don't. It's the Spectres that are starting to get it done with 33 HP forced to reload was Lear, so he's been taking- she gets on the site by using their Cove to flash out of and take sight. Think about it. The enemies are going to be shooting at the Cove, then Sky would pop her flash out of it. This blinds the enemies and allows them to drop out of heaven, but the kills just aren't there. Exalt is now tasked with a tough 1 versus 3. Jed and Viper have just rotated from A, and they know Exalt is somewhere on this side of Pillar. Zeldris dashes out, but completely misses him. His retake was just too quick. The spacing isn't there. And Exalt punished them for giving him a 1v1. These types of kills are exactly what you're looking for in a clutch. With 30 seconds left, DSG's flex player now needs to find another kill. They haven't seen Viper all game, so this one's going to be tough. With 15 seconds left, he has no choice but to head back to site. But on his way, he finds pure VNS. He needs to get this kill if he wants any chance in this clutch. Time for exalt. One enemy remaining. Well, well. And he gives it to him. The defense gives Exalt the kill he needs, and now it's a one versus one. Sky versus Viper. Exalt needs to win this, or else DSG is going to be forced to save and risk losing to the 9-3 curse. So he pops his Seekers, and the mind games begin. Nilly waits for the perfect amount of time before walking out onto site. By waiting this long, he threatens the fact that he could come from heaven, and Exalt is forced to respect it. With this timing, Viper can come from anywhere. Seen thus far on the day, followed by a second play in the spike, and now only Nilly to worry about, but it's a very healthy Viper on the other side who has heaps of utility, two snake bites, and a poison orb to his name, and he'll finally start this retake on the side again, the 1v1, and the paranoia starts to set in as Exalt, already on the close angle, spots Nilly heading the wrong way, and Exalt awarded the ace. With the ace, Exalt saves DSG from the 9-3 curse. Now DSG aren't out of the woods yet. After Exalt's clutch, they dropped around, forcing them onto a weaker buy. Now this is a problem that a lot of Valorant players have. Just because you have bad weaponry, that doesn't mean that you can't try and make a play. Plus, it's really important to try and do as much damage as possible to the opposing team. Stripping their armor, forcing them to use utility, and especially getting a kill can be massive for you later down the line. If you just allow them to farm you, you allow them to save up their credits and their economy snowballs out of control. Meaning that sometimes they never have to eco for the rest of the half. Every round in Valorant is valuable. Don't throw any away. With that in mind, DSG have a five-man push geared up towards A. OR knows that DSG doesn't have great weapons, so they're all playing back allowing DSG to come in, and they're going to rip them to shreds with their rifles. The round starts, and immediately DSG are flying out of the gate. Harbor Cascades ramp, Sky flashes in front of it, and Ray's double satchels behind it. Anyone who were to play here would have been put in a blunder. And the cool thing is that Harbor's Cascade ends in such a way that it leaves a small path leading to vents. But Zeldris is too aware. He swings the wall and kills the Rays. But Rays was just a distraction. The entirety of DSG flood onto site, get the spike planted, but are down numbers. Someone needs to go big if they want to win this round. What more can they get out of it, though, is the question. Uh, I don't like this that. one. Okay, the frenzies. Yeah, Zell just kind of just putting himself out on an island. Didn't really have a whole lot of help behind him. As the flash comes out, Steel turns it and finds the kill. Pure gonna work his way forward. The rifle doing good for two. Unfortunately, the spray gets a little weird. Gangsta finds one for himself. Now a rifle picked up, but forced to reload. And the DK is there. Gangsta on eight of his own HP. And Clear's gonna do it himself. Gangsta's not needed. Dude, what the f just happened? So Zeldris glides out of heaven without anyone there to trade him. And because of this, all of OR are forced to funnel out of spawn, which is one choke point. Because DSG have all of this map control, Gangsta pops his ult, which obliterates OR's retake. Ray's gets isolated, Steel gets the kill, Gangsta swings from elbow, and then somehow lives. Chamber, who was holding ramp, swoops in, grabs a vandal, and ties up the eco round nicely for DSG with a crisp 2k. 
I don't know about you guys, but if you're OR Esports, you are pissed. This round should have been an easy one, but because of all of this on-the-fly playmaking and poor spacing, DSG are now one round closer to match point. So DSG have won two rounds back to back and now need one more to secure the map. They have one more trick up their sleeve they haven't used all game. Every buy round for DSG, they have gone slow, have defaulted, and have taken their time. But this round, they have four ultimates online and want to shut OR Esports down. It's time to execute A. On defense, OR are set up with their Viper and Jet ready to spam A main, anticipating a big hit. And on B, they have three there ready to fight for B main control, something DSG has done a lot throughout these attacking rounds. As soon as the buy barrier drops, DSG are off to the races. Sky pops a flash A main, Harbor throws down his Cove, Sky unleashes her Seekers, Raze whips out her Showstopper, and OR Esports have zero chance. This rehearsed execute was a thing of beauty. Here against the Skies. Yeah, I was definitely, I was expecting to see something. Unfortunately, this is what we've got a whole lot of. It's just DSG now running it down. Or Esports, oh my, okay. Some way, somehow on the wrong side of the wall. Ziff still. DSG know people love to spam their rifles down A main and Harbor's Cove blocked the bullets perfectly. As they're scaling up, Harbor cascades to block off screen and Jet has no choice but to run back into spawn. Braze follows the Seekers all the way up and finds a massive kill onto Nilly. With all of this space that Ziff just created, Steel drops his Viper's pitch and anchors down screens. This retake is going to be literally impossible. And while all that just went down, Chamber has his rendezvous set up so that he can walk up ramp completely safely and then get out back to sewer after he gets one. All game, this Chamber has been an issue and OR Esports couldn't adapt. Combine him with the synergy he received from the rest of this comp and it's safe to say that DSG have successfully brought Chamber back from the dead.